Okay, sheet folders. We've all been there. What do we do with a fitted sheet? What do we do with all that elastic? What do we do with the corners? Well, I'm coming at you here live from my kitchen to uh, show you a little bit of light on your dark and stumbly path. We're gonna start with the length of the sheet. The long, this is a twin sheet, it's white, so the, the folds might be kind of hard to see, but bear with me. And we're gonna put our fingertips into the corners. And right now, the sheet is um, facing out, so it's not inside out, it's outside facing in, or whatever. What I mean is with the corners, you should not see the threading. You should see just the outsides, the parts that you would see on the bed. Okay, so we have those with our fingertips facing the long way. I'm gonna bring my fingertips together. With my left hand, I'm going to take my thumb and pinch that right corner, okay? So here I am, I'm gonna pinch the right corner. So now I'm holding on with my left hand. My right hand is free, okay? I'm gonna bring the elastic uh, from the right side over my left hand. Okay, so up close. Here I have the elastic. I'm gonna fold this over. I'm just gonna kind of pull it tight, holding on super tight with my left hand. So at this point, I'm gonna straighten it out so that all I have is the corners in my left hand. Now you'll see the threads are facing out. So I have the corners kind of folded in on themselves. So this is documented really well in the videos that I've seen. The next steps are what I found to be a little more challenging to follow, so I'm gonna to try to break it down a little, even a little more. So, now we have this sheet that's folded in once on itself, right here, and we have an outer elastic edge. So we have an inner, we're gonna leave that alone for now, and we have an outer. We're gonna take the outer, palm facing in, we're gonna come all the way down until we find the next corner. Mine's right here, okay, and, with, and keeping my fingers on the inside of that, I'm gonna find that corner, okay? So here it is. And just like how we started with the corners both facing the same side, we want the threads to both be uh, facing us now. So inside out, we're gonna join the corners, same move, pinch it with the index, left index and left thumb. Take the elastic, fold it over with your right hand over the left. So now I have a total of three corners, all on my pointer finger here, okay? And now, we have that outer elastic is now folded back on itself, and that's good, so we're gonna ignore that for now. We're gonna take this next bit of elastic that's on the inside, it's the longest bit now. And again, palm facing in, fingers on the inside, we're gonna guide down until we find, be mindful of keeping the, the uh, elastic facing the same direction. We're gonna find the next corner. Okay, so this is here, and this is where it gets a little tricky, but notice that the whole time I'm keeping my hand on the same side until I find that corner. So these should both be facing the normal direction. Notice no threading. I'm gonna do one more left index, left thumb, pinching that corner, folding it over with my right hand. And have faith here, because it's gonna feel, you might end up a little wonky like mine is. Um, it's kind of hard to tell if I did it right. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the elastic um, that's like on the uppermost side, so the first ribbing you can find, and just kind of pull that, shake it out, and then you can kind of see, oh, here's the other one. And I just wanna line those up. So that side's good. You should basically have two elastic uh, lines that are kind of, um, concentric, okay? So one on the outer, one on the inner. So that side's good. The next bit is going to be to, I actually ended up uh, pretty okay with the insides of the sheets facing in, but sometimes when I folded this, this inside will be out and it'll be all kinds of crazy. So I'll just mess it up real quick. So if that's your case, you're just gonna take this outer elastic and just kind of pull on it and I just shake it out until I can see that, okay, yeah, I want to be able to see where this elastic hooks back up. So if it's inside out and you can't see the other where this elastic hooks back up, just find it to the bottom, shake it in, shake it out. Now I should be able to see two uh, loops that are not 
within each other. So up here they are within each other, right there. And then down here, they're kind of separate, so I could make a little A with it if I need to. From here, in your left hand, where all those corners are, you have a nice edge there. You kind of hold it here, and then you, you have something that resembles a rectangle now, and you are free to fold it however you would like. Let's see if I can get a little angle here. So the way I tend to do it is I have my corners facing me. I'm gonna go across the top. Oh, not a great angle. So now I have it facing the long way. I fold a little bit of that outside in, have a nice clean edge. I fold a little bit of the other side in, nice clean edge. So you should have something close to a straight rectangle. And I take the thick side with the corners, and I do maybe like a quarter fold, and I just take the rest of it, meet it to where that first fold was. Cut it there so you kind of meet it halfway, and then polish it up right here. And there's our fitted sheet folded up nice and clean.